Okay, uh, my name is Kenny, and I'm back again with my unboxing videos. I mean, I decided to like always share. Every time, I'm a gadget collector. I love collecting gadgets, so. Uh, I went to Walmart and I saw a couple of stuff, and kind of interesting. And um, of course, I'm a little bit of law enforcement, so I, I, I like uh, guns, uh, shooting and all of that stuff, uh, both professionally and um. For recreation so and I went to Walmart and um, I actually have one rifle that I bought I bought it like a lot of years ago like like yeah many years ago I'm, I'm gonna say it's like um, more than seven eight years ago and I still have it It still works really really fine I barely use it but um like I said I like collecting so the the reason let me show you the one that i have um I, the one that i had before this one okay i have this one this is the first one that i bought and it's pretty awesome it goes really really far but the problem that i have with it is you can't do like rapid shooting with it like speed shooting because you have to pump this one, you see? You have to pump it like a bunch of times and that determines how far it goes. So, you know, if you have like three or four targets and they're moving, probably like a mouse or a rat or a rabbit or something, they, they're BB guns anyways. They use um, um, pallet, metal pallets. So, um, so you have to pump it. So it makes a lot of noise pumping it. You see all that noise? Nah, I don't want that. So I want something that I just cock and shoot, cock and shoot, cock and shoot. So I could just go pow, 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 pow. So, but this cannot do that. This is like long, long range shooting. I actually bought this, um, I forgot what it's called. Um, four, uh, four times 15 daisy. Yeah, Daisy scope, but I, I wasn't able to get to use it. I think it got damaged, you know, and uh, you know along the line. So I never ever used it. I always like to like you know target by myself. But this is for like one shot and put back. This the bullet, uh, the pallet it uses. So you just put it in here. So I mean, we're not reviewing this one. This one I love it. I really love it. But it's for like one one shot. You make one shot, and then you gotta pump it, make a and and you know. Put the pallet in and do it again so i don't i was looking for something on the go like that was gonna go like quickly so i went to walmart and i found this it's called um the um red rider it's called the red rider i've seen it before when i was younger we had this uh guys that uh, i grew up with is jason and um i forgot the other guy's name so they had these but it was kind of smaller so i went to walmart and i seen it i've been looking for something that all you gotta do is crank it up one time let it go crank it up one time let it go so i saw it and this has got to be the cheapest rifle like that i've ever seen like it's so cheap it's ridiculous I, you, you just don't want to know how much it costs this cost me 29.99 at Walmart check it out I love Walmart everything in Walmart is cheap cheap so I was just walking passing by buying some other stuff and I saw it I'm like Man, I've been looking for this stuff so I seen it, it it's kind of pretty and um look at $29.99 $29.99 it has some some weight on it like it's pretty weighty it's, it's, it's yeah it has some weight on it. It's not light. It's not plastic. All of this is met the barrel. The barrel is metal, just like the other one. And these are probably wood. Yeah, they're actual wood. These are wood too, just like a real rifle. That's what it looks like to me. Trust me. If I see this from afar, I promise you. I promise you. I think it's a rifle. I think it's an actual rifle. So um, let's open it up and see what exactly we got inside there i i'm already in love with it first of all the finishing right here i think it's just cute it is so beautiful 
you got to love this thing see it has all this stuff i don't know what this is for but i'm gonna figure it out somehow you know look at this just look at this see it oh one problem that i already spotted is the front sight does not have if you see the front sight you see it it doesn't have any kind of um color to it like the other one has something white you see this one it has this type of white stuff on the tip if you look at it properly i don't know how to do it you see it it has something white so you could align that with the with the rear sight this one has something white here so but this right here is one downside it doesn't have it it doesn't have anything here for you to you know aim with so that's a problem you got to really really be a pro yeah i can make it work but i'm trained for somebody who's not trained it's going to be really really difficult to um to um to work it so i mean i'm seeing stuff okay that's the safety it's yeah the normal way the safety is you see the safety that's the safety right there the trigger safety so you see it won't go oh yeah yeah it will go but now it's it's safe but and then always remember every time you handle a gun always point it in what a safe direction every time always point it keep it pointed in a safe direction okay yeah, that's the trigger. And the trigger is hard. It's like a real, real gun. Like, trust me. It, this is beautiful. And you see this right here? That is just awesome. That is so cute. So, so cute. So, yeah. Um, I don't know anything about this weapon. It comes with this. And uh, I think that's the manual. Yeah, user guy. This is the user guide, so I'm gonna have to like go through it. Uh, yeah. Okay, it, there's a cock instructions. That's how to cock it. You know. So you have to. Oh yeah, it's it's trying to say if you want to cock it, you just put this down. And you know. And take it all the way. Yeah, you got to take it all the way or else it will not fire. You see, there you go, it fired. But it says if you take it halfway and you bring it back, it will not fire. You got to take it all the way. You see it? And hear that click and then you get fired, okay? So, I mean, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Now I'm trying to find out where you put the... Um, I do not know anything about this. Okay. Um, I don't know nothing about, I don't know where to put the, the, um, bullets or pallets or whatever it is. I don't know where to put them, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. It's a whole bunch of stuff on here. I don't know what this is for. Uh something else i don't know what this is for yeah but uh, like i said i'll figure it out i think there's an opening right here i think that's where you put the bullets in but we'll see it says press and push up okay yeah that's where you put the bullets right there so this closed like this so if you want to open it you press it down and push it up you see it Close it like this to open it. You press right here and push it up, and it's open. So you just put all your bullets in there. I don't know how many it takes. I'll figure that out soon. And then while I was at it, I saw this box. It says it's a starter kit for the Red Rider. Okay, it's a starter kit for the Red Rider. So I want to see what's inside. I think it's a pair of goggles. Yeah, and some targets i believe it's targets so let's see what's inside um yep i was right 
So it comes with a pair of goggles. I don't know why it has to be red. Maybe because it says it's a red something, but I personally don't like red. It's just a lot of red on this stuff. See, that's targets right there. You got a couple of them. Yeah, that's the targets. You know, to help you for practice shooting and all of that stuff. I'm not a fan of red, but this, this stuff is red. That's the whole bunch of targets they got, you know, that you can use. Just another one, another type. You know, just to help you get you started. So it says it's a starter kit. And um, I do not know what this is. We're about to find out. I think it's a bag for the um for the for the rifle. I think I'm not sure now. It has a zipper, some rubber band. Let's take that off and see what's in it. Okay, yeah, it is a bag for the rifle. I think that's really, really nice. Like, yeah, and you know, when you like in inclement weather and all that stuff, it's probably raining or some of that stuff, and you, you want to protect the gun, you know, that's really nice. Really, really nice. It comes with a zipper. Let me put it inside and see, you know, how it fits in there. But yeah, I think that's so cool for them to have a bag. Yeah. There you go. That's it right there. It fits right in. And you just zip it up. And it has a carry handle and that's it. There we go. Um, in the starter kit, I have this too. I don't know what this is, but I believe it's um I believe it's pallets. It's shaking. So I think it's pallets that are inside like the bullets for the thing it didn't tell me what to do so let me see what i'm gonna do i think i gotta just yank this red stuff off it's just a lot of red on this stuff I, it makes no sense it makes it makes absolutely no sense i hope i don't damage it i'm sure this don't go directly inside the gun But um, we'll see. I have a lot of pallets, like a lot of pallets. Cause then back then I used to I used to collect them. I just buy a whole bunch of them. So here is open. So I'll put um. I'm tempted to look in the in the muzzle, but I'm not gonna do that. So uh, should I open this stuff? There's no instruction on how to do it, so. Count rider glasses, gun, rider gun sleeve, and red shooting gallery taggers. Oh, they say it's a BB2. Where does that go? I'm gonna have to look this stuff up. I don't know where the BB2 goes. I don't know how to open it, none of that stuff. So yeah, let me see. It's just wrapped up. I don't know. You know what? Let me just open it. I'll just take this red stuff off and see what happens. <laughs> I might lose all my BBs. Oh yeah, it opens. It opens. So you take this red stuff off and then you open this just such. Yep. It has BBs. You see it? is bb's in there and i already had a i have a bunch of bb's so i guess they just trying to hook me up with some and yeah so you take the bb's and you put them in here see in that hole right there you just put them in there i don't know how much it takes i'm gonna have to find that out from the uh user guy user man uh, uh manual and i believe that's it you probably just put that in there once you put it in there you close it up and i think you're ready to fire Yep, safety on at all times. So once you put the BBs in there, I think you just crank it one time. And that's it. Pooh, I didn't know it was this hard though. This is really, really hard. Dang. It's really, really hard. Like Okay. Okay, I think when you fire it. You gotta take the safety off. You fire. See? Boom. And then it becomes hard again. 
You take it out. Right now it's really loose. I think it's spring. It's spring. Um, you work it with a spring. But the fact that you just do it one time, that's just amazing. And you can fire, and it goes as far as 350 um, uh, FPS, like feet per second. 350 yeah, FPS. And you can, you can get as much as 650 shots. That's the capacity. I think it says you could put up to, can you put up to 650 pallets in this? That would be something. That will be something. It goes, uh, yeah, the maximum shooting distance is 195 yards. And it goes at a speed of a, a, a maximum velocity of 350 FPS, like feet per second. And the capacity is uh, 650 shots. Is that how many shots that I have forever or just in one feeling, like when I fill it up? It better not be just 650 shots forever <laughs> and it actually weighs like 2.2 pound 2.2 pounds it's not heavy it's kind of light but yeah that's it the red um what's it called the red rider carbine carbine the red rider carbine nice really nice really nice 650 shots you can get at when you fill it up, you can fill it up. I think you can fill it up up to. It says it uses spring air. Hmm. Not bad at all. All right. Uh, let me know what you think. If you if it's a buy, for me it's a buy because you got to crank it up one time, boom, one time, boom, one time, boom. I like the other one that you got. It's kind of tiring as far as I'm concerned. But this right here, I've always wanted to have this. And I finally got it. See you in my next video. I probably will do a video of me trying it out or something. All right, thank you. Bye.